birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ben Happy birthday to you. So who won the football game? For the first time in your life. Who won the football game? <laughs> I was up and down the I didn't think you should have <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 Congratulations! Happy birthday, Baha! Let it be fashionably late. Happy birthday, buddy! Happy birthday! I know, she's just going. Sorry, happy birthday, Tom. Nice to see you. Sorry, I've been here for a long time. That's alright. I think I got a beard, I wouldn't get away from me. Happy birthday. Good to see you. It's been a long time. Good to see you, though. Long time. Oh, you look good. How you like that Santa Rosa lemon? Wait, 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 wait. We gotta go in order here. Wait a minute. We're gonna have to go. Oh, there goes. You don't even know who the She wants a picture. <laughs> Congratulations. Have you ever seen anything like this in all your life? It's exciting. I've never had a birthday party. Oh no! It's a surprise one. Have you? No. 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 <laughs> How are you doing? Paul? Good. Sorry about that. You made the trip up there. <laughs> Mr. Paul, yeah, well, from all these people. So, as we summarize the day's events, we'll think, who's this guy next to you? I mean, what? <laughs> is this the Wimbledon? Yeah. All right, Bob, do you want to start? Bob, wait, 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 wait. What do you got, a shirt? Oh, there it is. 
Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. This is a shirt brought from Wimbledon for Bob, donated by all the girls at Wimbledon. <laughs> and it says that Bob is ranked, ranked. in the U.S. However, there's only a million players. <laughs> so, He's moving up, though. But he, he is moving up. He was worse than this that last time. That was this time. morning, taking around yes, this That's right. Morning. You know, after was this morning's game, he has moved up extensively. So we're looking forward to another great season with Bob DiMattei. He broke the million barrier. Cut. <laughs> so, Thank you. That was one of the things I was going to give Bob. I appreciate that. I, I, I was there once, too, but I held back. Yes, Will, can you top I, that? I was with Bob at uh, Wimbledon. Yeah. And it said that Bob was always on time. Yeah, early. I'm always late. <laughs> at the end of the week, I was always on time. <laughs> Very happy that Bob Is showed me thing? the straight and narrow. <laughs> he left early in the morning and he told me to be there at 6.15. <laughs> I was there at 6.12 and he was gone. Oh, no. But it was a wonderful time and we enjoyed Wimbledon. And, uh, it's improved our tennis. You have a great day. You had I a wish great my time. best to Kay also on her birthday, and hope she has uh, many, many more to come. Thank you. You got no shirts, though. No shirts. <laughs> Very nice. Very well said. All right. Here's who, here's who I want to see. Yes, Paul. Make a few comments for Bob and Kay, uh, a few comments for uh, posterity or any eloquence that you can share with us right now. Well, I, uh, I wish Kay uh, much success in creating the very new doll. Uh, could it be the Dimatei doll? Uh, what would a Dimate doll really look like? Perhaps it would be a golfer, a little golfer doll, a little golfer doll, but you'd have to imitate the uh, backswing that Bob has, has uh, originated, actually, in which, in, which, in, which, in which threw out his groin, because I think <laughs> uh, just recently. And I think Was that, that the reason it happened? It had happened very recently. Now I didn't. Uh, I heard. I just heard that he was, uh, that Bob is no longer able to run because of his groin. And I think probably, and he doesn't know the cause. And I think the cause is, is Bob's golf swing. Golf, yeah. I think it's the golf swing. The flexibility isn't there, but yes. After yes, you yes. beat us at McGinnis, Neil, and took the title. Well, I you remember I, that day. My incur, my. my uh, you hitting the ball still? I do hit the ball, and uh, and I want to tell you that you you, sh you shouldn't try to imitate your father's golf swing. You want to be successful. And I know I heard that Bob has purchased an illegal sand wedge, what? an illegal sand wedge. Uh, but he's but he still uh, plays at the Olympic Club, I think, with it. And this game being used against them. You know. Yes. Happy birthday, Kay, and happy birthday, Bob. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Could you talk a little about Bob and Kay? A little thing for posterity. Oh my goodness, Bob and Kay. Posterity. Yes. Yeah. Say something nice? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> or I need a little. A few, you get it rolling. He'll, I don't want to give get him nice. arrogance. So make a arrogance. Which, 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 which Bob and Kay? <laughs> we know the same. We know. Yeah. 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 I know. No, you guys are more than I did. From well, Dave, go ahead. Somebody's got to say something nice. Does not anybody know anything nice? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes, I've known uh, Bob. I haven't known Kay very long. I see her intermittently. She shows up for, for free breakfast. Uh, uh, That's me, Earl. No, no. Uh, she uh, she kind of shows up when we're having free food. And I believe that her husband doesn't make too much money because uh, they don't seem to eat regularly. Well, we need this because we have a lot of nice things and we need some negative things. Yeah, well, there's not.
Yeah, very many negatives. Wonderful, wonderful people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, they Earl, I want to know when did tennis start? When's the, what year? What year? Oh, man. Been, this has been a continual game, I think, for at least 25 years. 25 maybe years. longer. We play on Saturdays. Yeah, 25 I know. Years. No, I know. Earl's been I, such a good host. I worked for him back then. Way well, back when we started, then. probably. Yeah. I was started yeah. way before then. Yeah. <laughs> but see, I'd have to continue Earl's story. I'm sure it's not because they don't make enough. It's probably because they spend so much money on dolls and teddy bears. And, you know, Bob always blames it on Kay. But I've gone to sales with him, and I know how he just pours over those animals. He loves them, but he makes a big deal and pretends like he doesn't like them. You know, I mean, the, guy, the guy that throws rocks at deer That's likes right. animals? I guess oh, so. the way he is with Jack, you think Jack was another child? <laughs> right? And with higher priority than you. <laughs> I'd, feel, I'd feel like I would check the wheel if I were you, Paul. Because, you know, Jack's going to get it all. Jack, Jack took over. First. Well, Jack. You know, but seriously, we've after known. After all the money I've saved with Earl buying all the That's breakfast, right. well, it's okay. That's true. <laughs> he, he also doesn't eat regularly. <laughs> it's a family and he's not, and he's not a very good cameraman because this, this videotape's going to yeah, shake a lot every time he laughs. Shaky. Well, I mean. I'll try and keep it down. I, I like. I, I like was going to say some nice things. I like to be tightly framed. I think you better back a little bit and catch the put the view behind me. <laughs> all right. On that yeah. note, I better leave. To, yeah, you have to be That's careful. Enough. We don't want our wrinkles all, all right, on video. I said he's confused. Sue. Yeah. Oh. Judy, we're going to say a few things about Bob and Kay. If you could share with us. I know you have a lot to say, but just not too long. You know. <laughs> Good at this. No, I, I'm, I'm not good at this. Come yeah. all the way down. Kathy's good at this. Come all the way down. We, we have to say something about Bob and Kate, and, and, we, and it can't include how old they are. No bad words or anything. Oh. Right. You mean we have, we have to talk say about how young they look. And, well, let's see. and how surprised we are that they're and still you love anybody. Oh, I know. We love Bob's turn of the century picture when he's Uncle Sam. <laughs> That was taken in 1876. That was to celebrate the first centennial. And then but you he, know, I heard the cake, the cake they had will cars. serve 50 or 60 people, I heard. She what? The cake will serve 50 or 60 people. Oh, yeah. Huh? Easily. With the 50 or 60 candles on it. Yeah. What else can we do? If it doesn't Judy, melt first. Yeah, Judy. We hope the cake doesn't melt before we all get a piece of it. Or it doesn't. We go blind with the candles. <laughs> You know, we want to be here more than anything, so you don't have to Thanks say for anything. coming. I know you made a long... You were one of the farther travelers. Yeah. The Washington contingency. Yeah. You're not going to... No more for you. Dick, no, Dick, Dick and Harvard are going to leave. Now, you know where the uh, little thing is over there? Yeah. yeah. So, you got to take off. Yeah. So go ahead and, you know... Say, I'll mention your name. Oh, that's, yes, yes, okay, that's not a problem. You know, the, the thing is, do that. And then, you know, mention that uh, he also now has become a permanent member of ARP. Just say he's now an ARP member. Okay? Okay, from you. No, no, no. Dennis, can you share a few thoughts on Bob and Kay? I know a lot of things come to mind at once. I was just thinking that I uh, am glad their birthdays are over. <laughs> After all this, you put up with me. Thank you for doing all this, Dennis. Uh, this, is, this is great fun. And, uh, you know, and I don't think he looks a day over 65. Speak right into the microphone, sir. He doesn't look a day over 65. <laughs> Dinner at six o'clock. We're summarizing a few things. I know. Really hope that's autofocus. <laughs> Dennis, you were on a roll there. I <laughs> made an announcement. Right. You guys can't hear it. Actually, I'm all. I have nothing else to say at this time. Thank you. I want to go get All right, Larry. A few comments. Anything you want to say? Uh, this has been an event. Uh, we've had our car almost towed, what? but not towed. So, and we found the forks. You're sorry to be here. Though. Oh, we have forks. We have forks. They have forks. We found the forks. Uh, this has been sort of a not toad fork We've kind of event. It. Yeah. We've never done it before. Well, I got Susan's autograph. Oh, that's uh, She's very shy, but uh, cute. Cute but shy. Yeah. And uh, other than that, uh, this is what I call slumming. 
Oh, we got the video camera with the camera. A few, a few, did you, you want to say, say something? No, we'll talk about it. Hi, Dad, okay, hope you're having fun. That's Donna's hand. Hi, Don. I know you want to get in. Don, say a few things about Bob and Kay. Great sangria. <laughs> no, Bob and Kay, I'm not out here for them. I love Bob and Kay, and they know that. Oh, Hi. Get Frankie out there. <laughs> Frankie, Frank, the cameras. Oh man. Give us a few, uh, you know, items from your. <laughs> I know you have a lot to say. I'd love you like a brother. Get that camera. <laughs> I'll take the balloons. Then. This beautiful. Kathy, you have any? This is Bob and Kay. Thank you. Fight me over whenever you have wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to say. It's beautiful. Hi, Larry. Any comments for Bob and Kay in the back here? Who? Bob and Bob and who? Yes. Bob and Kay. This is being recorded too, so. Could be used against you. We don't know any other couples that are 110 years old. <laughs> 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 they do look pretty good. Well, that's a good one. So. Thank you. Well, at least Kay does. Thank you. Congratulations. I mean, they, they, and I always say what Kay was saying, they were really excited about covering the event and, and they thought it was a, a fun one to cover. And, right. Yeah. Yeah, they gave it interesting. I don't know, what did, did you see the coverage? Yeah, I got every bit of it. Did you, did, what, what did you quick, think? Uh, quick. I mean, how did it, um, the sport look to you? It looks pretty darn good. The men's so event was great. Stay later. Okay. A few comments about Bob and Kay, please. Oh, that's so nice. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be included. This is a special time. No, 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 I can't. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. But, uh, what do I say now? That's right in my face. Catch me later. <laughs> A few words. Okay, a few words about Dad and Kay. Okay. Well, anything in the world for them, they're the greatest. And Dad has helped me a lot with this party. What else can I tell you that uh, I hate being interviewed? Look into the camera. Look into the camera. And then Nancy's probably the sweetest person in the whole world, and we go to Istanbul. I've known her for years. Let's, let's try to remember that this is for Dad and Kay, though. I've known her for years, though. It's just a reflection of my father. Okay, don't interview me anymore. I'll shoot you while you shoot me. All right, I got you too. Any Kay and Bob, a few nice words or any thoughts, recollections? Oh, only that um, we were just saying what we rate Kay as with women one to ten. She's a twelve. All right, very nice. That helps. I've had a lot of other things said. That's really nice. <laughs> Any other 13, 14, anything you got her <laughs> And we would love to be her age. We would give her. Yes. You know? Oh boy, to be this. Young as <laughs> yeah. She just stays young. It's, I know. it's a gift. It's a real gift. Well, we're only about a year old. I know, you guys are all. Okay. It's just the dolls that keep me young. The dolls, yeah. They never age. It's wonderful. What the hell are you going to do with this movie? It's just going on the market and going out for a, uh, no, we're just a little family thing. Family thing. I figure it, You're, they, they'll buy it off me for a couple hundred dollars. I mean, you guys are all famous for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah, limited Nice words about Bob and Kay. Is there anything? Sure, they are two of the most sincere, wonderful people that we've known in ever, I think. And, and no one deserves a kind more deserves the kind of happiness that they're enjoying. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you.
any comments, uh, anything? Uh, I think your nephew is chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> your nephew is such a ball, darling. Thank you. And she was talking to your Uncle Will. Yeah. 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 Any tennis? Uh, uh, reminder over a uh, great shot to remember? Uh, yeah. The thing I remember most about Bobby Mate on the tennis court is he never brought balls and he never paid for breakfast. <laughs> Any other thing that nice other comments? Just wishing you all a very happy birthday and many, many more. Thank you. Thank you. We need a few comments on Bob and Kay if you guys can. I've had a few negative remarks. Any positive remarks? <laughs> He's all right, I'm more negative. Notice we're both floored and stymied here. <laughs> Positively <laughs> terrible. They will see this also, <laughs> so don't let that bother you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was, uh, Just think of the, the, I was the, talking the about moments. Bob's oh. bright orange uh, snowsuit and taking him up to the top of the mountain and what listening year? to him whine the whole way down. <laughs> so, I don't know. Did he make it all right? Oh, yeah, he made it. He made it. <laughs> Terry, you have a few stories. Well, when he plays golf, you have to take out extra insurance. <laughs> he, he probably really hurt someone. He is dangerous. Isn't he? <laughs> Thank you. Other than that, he's nice. Guy. A few thoughts on Bob and Kate? Oh, my God, they're terrible Super Bowl parties. <laughs> Especially when the 49ers are going downhill in the new rag. Oh, terrible. My God. <laughs> Cut this off. <laughs> Thank you. Go to arguments. Tom, you can share a few thoughts on Bob and Kay. I mean, all those years ago, back a few years. We came here to wish uh, Bob and Kay a very happy birthday and to uh, congratulate uh, their daughter Susan on that beautiful medal which she won't show anybody. Thank you. I know, I haven't seen it. We want to see that medal. <laughs> so one of these days we hope to see her. Well, we'll, we'll bring the next one, definitely. I'll, I'll steal it from her and get it here. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Oh yeah, Lynn. Hey, Bob. <laughs> happy birthday, Bob and Kay. Congratulations, 29, right? <laughs> Thank you. We got some nice museos here. Any nice comments for Bob and Kay that you could share? I'm related to Bob. Okay. Thank you. Clara, any nice? Well, I want to wish them a very happy birthday and have too many more ahead Thank of them. You. Thank you. Thank you. Till. Till. Yeah. How you doing? Fine, fine. How are you? Some nice comments for Bob and then Kay today. Huh? A few words about Bob and Kay. Yeah. You share oh, with yeah. me and my camera. Oh yeah, yeah. You have a nice Bob. It was a nice. It was a nice party. We enjoyed it very much, and we enjoyed the bike, bicycle ride too. Fantastic. That's the one we enjoyed the most. Thank you. Isn't that nice? We're an Olympic uh, Italian, right? Yeah, that's right. it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bob and Kay, well, happy birthday things. to both Bob and Kay. Number 50 and number 60. Wow, that's, that's pretty old. Hard to believe, huh? <laughs> pretty old. <laughs> Not really, Bob. That my grandfather, still it. waiting for the check. <laughs> That's all I Tom, have to say. I know Tom, Tom has a few stories to tell. That's right. Bobby and I grew up together. I remember oh, Bobby. You remember that outfit? Played the piano while the played the piano. <laughs> Carol played the piano. Bob used to destroy the piano. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Bob. Happy birthday, Kay. Thank you. And you raised that daughter that made the Olympics. Amazing, huh? Some, wow. some that all that videos. All that hard work. Well, <laughs> hard work I do have a few skills. <laughs> Oh, that would be nice. Oh, my turn. Michelle, my turn. if you have any, you know, the good stories. No, I have no stories. They want to know They, they cook right a fine dinner a year ago. Do you know any dirty stories? <laughs> no, that's not the time. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. 50 and 60. I don't know, maybe 
110. <laughs> Just say 110. Hold on, let me yeah. my aunt real quick. Oh, yeah. Good. Still right? <laughs> Sorry. Hi, Jordan. Hi. You having a good time? Uh -huh. Real good. It's fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> Prove his golf game. <laughs> when he learns. That's his few years more. <laughs> yeah, when he can hang up his uh, pencil and pen, he can pick up his golf clubs. That's it. Follow your lead, right? All right. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All right. In Charlotte? Oh, she... Okay, well. She'll have. We'll, we'll get her later, right there. Thank you. That's worse. You can't even breathe in there. You getting some uh, good footage there? Yeah, Peter, can you share any thoughts you may have? Uh, on Bob and Kay? Bob and Kay, yes. Well, actually, no, actually, the one you really want is Sybil. She's the one that's got all We're of the Sybil story. Now. Sybil, Sybil is inside. Blonde, okay. black and white, striped vest. And, of course, she worked with Bob and Kay for a long she's time. She's got all the war stories. Huh? Well, she's got some interesting stories, particularly about Kay. <laughs> And, 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 and one Maybe Bob I better and not story. talk about this. No, she should because I think she's going to at least tell one of them when she's asked, I think, oh, later okay. on. Oh, good. But she's the one that's got all the stories. I just I just come along for the party. Yes. Yeah, and that's why I, that's usually why I'm at their house is the party. <laughs> Thank you. Good to talk to you. She would enjoy it. And, you know, she always could talk. He's, he's serious. I guess. She'd light him up. Oh, here I just have a few camera. thoughts for Bob and Kay here, Charlotte. I know you. Happy you're... day. Happy Indiana, day. Thank you for. We wish them both all the best. Thank you. Nice to see you. Yeah. Nice to see you. I love seeing all the family again. It's Great. Many Every, tears. How many years? Actually, too many. Oh. So many. Thank you. So they move everything, right? Yeah. yeah. A few words, please. I've already about. said hi, but you guys know I love you and happy birthday. And here's to 50 or 60 more. Thank you. <laughs> I, I was saying. Oh, we got you, all right? Yeah, we got us. Can you put that down for a second and help me? <laughs> we need to bring a table up. Oh, sorry. Person to wish you well. As you read this, we are raising a glass of champagne in your honor, really and look forward to getting together with you for a belated chance to extend our fondest birthday wishes to both of you. I've missed it. It's a good part. I'm firing. Yeah. I cry then. I'm always a half second behind. Bob, I think that you have some idea of how much I value your friendship and support. What you probably don't know is how often I have told others that our chance meeting which led to your joining the bank was one of the luckiest and best things that has ever happened to me. Although your wife and children know you to be a terrific dad and husband, I hope that they also have some sense of your extraordinary professional accomplishments as well. The extent to which you are truly admired and respected by everyone who works with you. You have enriched the professional lives of all those around you with your knowledge, friendship, leadership, and guidance. It is hard to imagine how much different and poorer our bank and I would have been had our paths not crossed. While birthdays are a time of celebration, they are also a time of reflection. And I just wanted to share these few personal thoughts with you to both express my profound gratitude to you and to remind you of all that you have done with the hope that you and your family can reflect upon your exceptional career in the same way that you would have on your personal With immense pride and great happiness on your 60th birthday. Dad, I didn't know you were that. Bob, we once again send along our congratulations to an ever 110 years, along with our heartfelt wish that the best is yet to come. Happy birthday, Byron and Stephanie. Stuff first, and then the funny stuff. Okay, uh, Lisa is going to talk about Kay for a minute here. And this is this is Lisa, Kay's cousin, and Kay and she are very close. And here she is. Pardon. 
Um, we went on a vacation back east to Virginia to visit relatives we'd never met. And so that was one of the first special times I can really remember. And then I've, since then, we just have had this bond. We'll be talking, and one of us will say something. It's like, that's what I think, or that's what I want. It's, it's really neat. And then with my three-and-a-half-month-old daughter, with Kay being so special to us, we've asked her and Bob to be our godparents. And I'm sure they will both be as special to her as Kay is to me. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. Okay, next, uh, Larry is going to talk on behalf of the Doll Club. Lee. Okay, just shut up for a minute. I represent the United Federation of Doll Clubs, and Kay DiMatte is a member of this, albeit she's on the cusp. And I have been sent here to check on her friends because you don't get to be a member of the United Federation of Dog Clubs unless your friends, relatives, and neighbors meet a certain standard. I've been, I've been a tad undercover today. Some of you have seen me with my camera. This is all being sent to national. National is in Kansas City, and Kay, though she's a lovely lady, you know, humanly, uh, is still not quite what we consider a doll club person. Well, you see how she is. Well, you see, the problem is Bob. Now, you know, we all love Bob. Bob's a banker. We all love bankers. But the United Federation of Dog Clubs is not into banking or bankers. We are truly into dogs. And I have to report back to National next week. I must say that the bronze medal helps. I mean it helps. Okay. Uh, we will have a Susan Dimite doll. Uh, the problem we are having is with the bicycle. Uh, we can't find anyone except in China to make the bicycle, and so this is a problem. And this is a big problem for the United Federation of Dog Clubs. So, in, in closing, <laughs> I would like to say that Susan uh, has helped, and Kay is still on the cusp. <laughs> so I will turn this back to whomever, uh, whenever, and for whatever reason. Thank you, Larry, for How do I use it? I don't know. You're on the cusp. Look through there. Okay, let's record. Paul, my let's brother, record. Paul. And he's going to talk about the old tennis group, I believe. So here is Paul. Do I record here, this button? It's going right now. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, all of our tennis players have left, I think. <laughs> all my jokes that I wrote, they're not here anymore. But I think... We've been playing tennis also. We're talking about dolls. We're going to switch to tennis for a minute here. We've been playing tennis for 25 years. Every Saturday morning, I get up early in the morning for some reason. With a hangover. And we play tennis. And this started for my dad. He got me involved in this. It's been a lot of fun. And uh, I have a gift for him for this, for involving me in the tennis. I do appreciate it. And this was his original racket when he started. I don't know what decade this came out of. <laughs> Can you grab it out of that bag? This is the original racket that started. It wasn't Chris Everett was playing. <laughs> Maybe it was mom's racket. <laughs> anyway, 
I want to give that back to you and thank you for the tennis involvement. It's been a while. I also have... Now, bend over, Paul. <laughs> I also have the original ball here. <laughs> original can. It's... We're sending it to some uh, museum somewhere. They don't bounce anymore, but they never helped the game anyway. Thank you. Uh, He always had trouble with the lob there. Does that you know, we've really we've played a lot of years. <laughs> Our level of play has just been really amazing. We've never gotten any better all those years. Who has? Who has? I also want to thank Dennis uh, McDonald. Is Dennis here? Yeah, he's here. Dennis, Dennis hired me, got me my first job, and I still owe him for that one. And I'm, I'm still looking for my career path, Dennis, so. <laughs> anyway, my uncle's here. I want to thank him for coming, too. He's been, he's a great, one of the great people. We have a lot of fun together, too. And... We're, we're starting a new career also with the mountain biking going on. We've decided a new career. Maybe in the Olympics, the year 2000, Will and I miniature golf. That's our game. So. We play. He's taking a lot of dollars off me. The last thing is uh, I wanted to mention, again, my dad and Kay. For the uh, article in the USA Today I saw, I got a big kick out of that. I never thought I'd ever read a national paper of my dad in tears. It was really touching to me. He, I played a lot of games, he never cried at my game. <laughs> He'd only cry when I would strike out, he would start bawling. You know, but, uh, and uh, Kay, thanks to you for all the uh, get-togethers and great times we've had. And Kay, you're talking about a great food. Kay has outdone almost this dinner tonight many times. I've gained five pounds every year, you know, ever since Kay got involved here. And I still haven't started a doll collection, though. I have not started that yet. Uh, I do know more about dolls than any other guy I know, though. Except, except Dennis Rodman. That's it. So. Thank you. Find the table and change the shirt from Okay, thank you, Paul. Next is going to be Sybil, and she's one of Kay's very dear friends, so here's Sybil. I'm a dear friend, Kay. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I'm afraid. This is really a hard act to follow because everyone here is a comedian. Okay. <laughs> Kay, I had lunch with uh, Paul Hazen and uh, Carl Reichart yesterday. We were down at Sam's, and okay. I got some dirt on you, but I really, it wasn't really good stuff. Kay was a business banking officer at San Francisco, Maine. She was probably the ultimate business banking officer at San Francisco, Maine, and that means that she doesn't get lunch because <laughs> the rest of us did get lunch. And Kay got to sit there and take care of all the rich customers. Now, almost everybody here is in banking, right? Have you ever seen a satisfied, happy, rich bank customer? No. There's no such thing in any bank. But Kay would sit there, and Kay was totally unflappable. Kay wouldn't cry. Kay wouldn't yell. Kay wouldn't do anything except, Oh, hi. Well, come on over and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> and the only, only day I ever saw Kay unflappable finally was when Charlotte Meyer brought her Jack. Oh, yeah. And this was like everybody in San Francisco Bay cried, and it was a wonderful, wonderful day. Oh, Jack, Jack is Kay's dog. You didn't know that. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Kay and Bob, we all love you to death. That's great. I'm, and uh, Kay and Bob, you have to come up here now. Uh, are we, we, we going to say our vows finally? <laughs> you mean you didn't? <laughs> now where's come on, kids? Nancy. 
She's like, 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 while they're getting ready for whatever what's coming up, I don't know, but I just like to thank everybody for coming. It's so special to see all of you here. It just it's so incredible. I can't stand it. <laughs> and it's the same I got the I've had the chills for a month. Well, Susan, go and feel this Don't get it. Don't go See, I'm I don't, never sure. operated one. It's so very yeah, it's overwhelming. And that's what it's oh, so great. beautiful to have everybody here. It is, or is it? Yeah. I don't know what I, else to say, but thanks it. for coming. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> wants to invite you all over the house. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speech, speech. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. Uh, do we have to fill out the application for the United <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Okay, now that we've turned 50 and 60, you know, Dad and Kay are having a hard time getting around because of their age. So this is um, their preparation for bed tonight after the party. And uh, Paul is going to introduce their uh, materials that they'll be using to get ready for their uh, sleep tonight. This, this is a visual comedy piece. So This is all visual. Put your arms anyway, behind. as we as we go into the golden years, can you move all right? You need the. As we as we head into the twilight of our lives, is this really necessary? <laughs> And our limbs become shorter. <laughs> things, things don't always coordinate together as well. I can't get any These things happen, but love remains. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> this is not a good we, sign. We do, need, we do need nourishment as the years go past. And one of the main items nowadays for breakfast is over the hill prune juice. It will keep all unwanted skin. It keeps your skin clean and without wrinkles. Yeah. The next gift, Dad being very athletic and can't move very well anymore. Yes. Has a great game he came up with in his bedroom. And he has learned for many years. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. As you know, Years of athletic achievement <laughs> have passed, and he can't quite hit the ball anymore. But that's... Is this called and Kay also has many skills that we do not know of yet. But as any older lady will tell you, those hot flashes do hit occasionally. And you need your hot flash fan for these special moments. But because their lives have nearing retirement, Dad has decided to come up with a game to decide what to do each day. You have shop, you have golf, you have all kinds of options. Sex. Golf! Sex! Sex! Sex by this time has been taken off the dice. 
that's, you know. Can you play the dice? Nap, nap is a big item here. Nap is big. That's on both sides of the family, the naps happen, yeah. Anyway, as our dental bills go up as we get older, we do have a lot of alternatives. And one of these, for any hard foods that are very difficult to eat, you can break them up earlier with your own set of false teeth. Teeth. Teeth or teeth. Okay, that, those will look nice. We're about done, yes, Dad. Of course, as hair begins to dissipate and the receding, the receding lines come into beautiful view, you do have your own hair comb that sticks on your head for emergencies. <laughs> that your daughter will always help you with. Of course, as you get older, your skin needs special treatment and oil of old age comes in handy at all times. Okay, only two helpings and you'll be fine, I'm sure. <laughs> well, the music and supporting is lifting us up. The last things, thank God. Now these can be used year-round, Dad. Dr. Ben Dover. <laughs> Irritation age, fast acting. Fanny Luby, Luby formula. Are you itching and burning for a smooth move? There you go. Two per day and everything will turn out fine in the end. Of course, if oil of old age doesn't work, you have wrinkle leaves. Now that's, that's big, you know, as you start to get in the sun a lot. Of course, 249 is a good price. Trade your wrinkles for skin as smooth as a baby's butt. Okay, I think that's it. We can't take anything more home in the car, but we do. Thank you very much. That was wonderful. I appreciate it. Thank the band. That's good. That was the way we were, the way we used to be. Uh, the United Federation of Dog Clubs. Uh, we're not happy about this. Uh, uh, so, uh, Bob would like to say something, but it may be too late. And I just, I just like to thank all the kids. And uh, I apologize for their. <laughs> I won't say. Before you, do, Thank you. before you begin, Bob. Before you begin, no, 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 no touch. No touch. That was a Barbie. Moon over Barbie. <laughs> We forgot the glasses, so that's not going to be. Wait, you forgot the medical alert. Where's the whistle? Oh, that's right. The way we were. That is the way we were. Okay, thank you for letting us make fools out of ourselves. Enormously silly bunch of people. Okay, once again, you get to listen to my uh, voice. No, no, you're having a chance. Have you heard of the old black guy? You got the inflatable guy. A couple of people who could not be here, uh, in fact, two of Dad's best friends, uh, Tom Peterson and Rick Wall. Uh, I asked both of them to speak on behalf of Dad, and Rick and Joni, his wife, have sent this poem that I'm going to read. To our friend Bob on occasion of his 60th birthday. Ah, youth, how fast it slips away. Now it's your turn, Dimite. Those morning runs so easy then, up the hills and through the glen. Five miles, then five, then five mi miles more. No challenge, easy, it's a snore. Oh, but then the years slide past and creaking tendons just don't last. But then there's tennis, that's your game, till tennis elbow makes you lame. 
Now in your 60s, Dimite, perhaps your sport should be croquet. Yeah. <laughs> but don't despair, the game's not done, and don't fret over the game's not won. Though older, you're not round the bend, and riches vast you have, my friend. Look around you in this hall, for here's the greatest gift of all. Friends who love you, friends who care, friends with memories to share. Kay, Susan, Nancy, Lisa, Paul, and also Mike, God bless them all. It's really true that like fine wine, wisdom only grows with time. And so, dear friend, as we grow gray, though years go faster day by day, though past your summer and into fall, you've won the biggest game of all. You've struggled hard and found your way. Thank you, God, for Dimite. Our best wishes to Kay and kids and all who are there to raise a toast for a wonderful guy. Okay, and then uh, they slaved over these poems, they told me, so uh, uh, two poems from two friends who wish they were at the party, and this again is from Rick and Joni, and it's on behalf of a, a time they shared with Kay. An ode to Kay on occasion of her 21st birthday. <laughs> there once was a girl named Kay who really knew how to play. She went to Key West with her Bob, he's the best, and her friends Rick and Joni one day. They knew Sloppy Joe's was a phony, so the girls went to see Captain Tony. But the captain was out, running for mayor, no doubt. So they drank to his famous old crony. They all had great fun at the quay, where things were in some disarray. They played with the cats and tried on some hats. We miss them, our friends Bob and Kay. Mm. All right. Okay, here's the biggie, Kay. <laughs> Uh, Kay's three best friends, Kathy, Sue, and Diane, are going to do something for us now. So here they are, I hope. <laughs> Get her a cheer. Don't cry. Come here. Where is she? This is... Me? No, you just have to listen here. Read along. We have shared so many memories with Kay that we've put them together oh, no. <laughs> in, in little bullets that only Kay and some of you in the audience may appreciate. Some golden oldie. Yeah, some golden oldie. This is a 50 candle salute. <laughs> we will try to be fast. <laughs> We have fi we have 50 candles here. We're going to read 50 things that we all remember Share. about. Memories. Ha we have shared, shared these memories. Please open this. And we really had to reach back in the time oh, to come I'm up with these memories. <laughs> we'll try to be quick. So my one. She liked it out of her memory. Hawaii, Mexico, the Panama Canal, Flaming Diablos, <laughs> Bridge, the 49ers, no, 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 train oh, sorry, train trips, cruise ship, Europe, now I can say the 49ers, Halloween party, Super Bowl, chickens, volleyball, teddy bears, Italian food, dolls, yeah. Italian men.